Hi, in this video I'm going to reveal all the different prey items that our birds have caught and give you a rundown of the ones that have caught the most prey and what prey they've actually caught. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan. I'm the head falconer here at Owl Adventures. Now, our birds of prey are used for display work. Things like school visits, flying shows, flying experiences, and that kind of work. So we don't actively hunt with our birds. It's important to remember that falconry itself is actually the art of hunting with birds of prey. And it goes back many, many thousands of years. The practices done back then for hunting wild quarry are still used today. However, I describe myself as a display falconer. In other words, I'm not actually hunting with my birds, they are used for that display work. However, that doesn't stop some of them occasionally catching something while we're flying them. And in this video, I'll go through the top ones of actually attacking and successfully bringing down prey and what the prey was. Now in the past we have had birds catch other wild animals when they just happen to see something that takes their fancy and that instinct kicks in. There is a technical term called entering a bird, that means entering it into hunting, giving it that idea that it can actually go out and catch its own prey. So our birds aren't entered. But in the past we have had a few incidents, for example George the burrowing owl he spent many days running around freely because he never used to fly into trees, that's not something burrowing owls tend to do, and he would have a good explore and sometimes have a dust bath and things like that. And on one summer's day in 2019, he managed to actually catch a rodent in the bushes of the York Museum Gardens. Now, we wouldn't normally let one of our own owls actually eat prey that's caught, because you never know what disease could be in it. If we do ever get something from the wild, it's at least frozen first, and we remove any parts of the anatomy we don't want to feed our birds. However, there's not much you can do when your owl catches a rodent and doesn't let you anywhere near it until he's eaten it. Luckily, it didn't harm George at all. There was nothing wrong with that rodent. Sadly, George did pass away much later that year from other reasons that I may stress. We also had, for a while, a giant peregrine hybrid falcon, and that one took a particular fancy to Kestrel. It even flew about a mile away from where I was flying it one day back in 2017 and I had to track it with the GPS transmitter it was wearing and by the time I got there I found it sat on a kestrel or rather the leftovers of a kestrel so yes birds of prey will catch other birds of prey so it has happened in the past but I'm now going to explain the kill count of the particular birds we have in the team right now so I'll go through all the owls and other birds of prey we have. We've got Gizmo, the Indian Scops owl, never caught a thing. We also have Pebble, our burrowing owl currently, who, except for insects he sometimes finds on the floor, he hasn't actually caught anything either. We then have our two barn owls, Bailey, the common barn owl, and Dusty, the dark-breasted barn owl. Again, no kills there. Recently, just a few months ago, Gulliver, our tribred falcon, thought it'd be a nice idea to go on a three-day adventure. When he was luckily recovered, he hadn't caught anything at all, not even any carrion, anything just lying around from what we can tell, because of the weight he dropped down to. So he's not much of a predator either, he just flies very well, usually in flying shows for us. We have our large owls as well. We've got Henrietta, the 20-year-old European eagle owl. And we've got Eva, the Canadian great horned owl, both of which haven't caught anything at all. So that leaves just two birds. There's Roland, the almost five-year-old Harris hawk, and there is Ollie, my almost 10-year-old male European eagle owl. Now, both of these birds have actually managed to catch quite a few numbers of prey, and I can't really put them in order. Both are just as prolific hunters as the other. We'll start with Roland. Harris hawks are very keen birds when it comes to hunting. Now, we don't actively hunt with our hawks, but that's not stopped Roland from catching a few birds. So we're now up to 
Pigeon number seven. Yes, he's only ever caught pigeons so far, and we don't encourage it. Even with flying him at a quite a healthy weight, about one pound ten ounce or more, he still sometimes will catch a pigeon in a tree or on the ground, usually drops it. We're able to intervene, replace that pigeon with some other food, and then take the pigeon, freeze it, and use it as we wish to, usually leaving a pile of feathers behind. Well, this is instinct, of course. But Ollie, he's got a far more interesting mixture of prey that he has caught when we've been flying him free. He's had two pigeon, one magpie, one rabbit, one rat, and one squirrel. It's almost like the tail of the hungry caterpillar, but instead of apples and pears and sausages and lollipops, it's a wide variety of prey items. So that's it. Up to date, as of December 2021, our current kill count, as I say, we don't encourage it, but birds of prey are birds of prey, and when you work with these animals, anything can happen when you're flying them free. Hope you enjoyed this video and find it rather enlightening and interesting. Please do subscribe if you haven't already and keep an eye on our channel for more future videos. We've got an exciting year coming up for 2022 with all kinds of different ideas for this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.